Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the battery in the Google Nexus 6 by Motorola. So first of all, what you want to do is grab the phone and use a SIM eject tool or something and remove the SIM card tray right here. If you use a pin or something, you can just push right in here and this tray pops right out. So next what you can do is right in the same spot here where you took out the SIM card, there's a little hole right in there that you can push in and push up kind of at an angle. And as you can see, the back cover starts separating right there. So then what I did at the same time as I'm pushing up on this part right here, I got this really thin pry tool in here. And we're just going to go ahead and work this all the way around. It just has adhesive under it. Just keep working it around. And then once you have it worked loose all the way around, you can just kind of peel it up carefully. When you get down here in this part right here, you don't want to pull too hard and then you want to try to work your way underneath this part right here. This is stuck down with adhesive as well. So then once you get that all off there, then it lets loose and then the whole back comes right off. I'll include links in the video description below the video where you can find any tools that I'm going to be using today during this process or any parts that I'm going to be using during these repairs today. If you do get a tool set, just make sure that it has a Torx size T4 in it. Next, what we want to do is disconnect the battery. So we want to pry under this little part right here. Pull it right out of there. And we're gonna disconnect this battery right here by prying up on this. Next, we're gonna to wanna to pry up on this little flap right here. Disconnect that connector right there. Next, we're gonna to wanna to carefully pry up on this right here. And I'm gonna use a tweezer so you can see easier. We're just gonna to wanna to separate that out of there. Next, let's just grab this and peel it up out of the way there very carefully. Next, we're gonna to need to use a Torx size T4. You can see right there, the bit is T4 size. We're gonna to need to remove all these screws all the way around here. Now, as you're removing these screws all the way around, don't worry, they're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Make sure to only remove the black ones. There's one silver one here holding in the volume buttons. You don't want to take that one out. And just make sure to look in all these tricky spots. There's some in here as well, not just around the perimeter. Make sure you get 22 of these black ones. So next what we're going to want to do to separate this, now that the screws are all out, you can just grab it and kind of push and start separating. It should start coming apart. And then this whole part here just lifts right off to change the battery. What you want to do, first of all, you want to disconnect this little gold contact right in here just by prying up carefully. I'm going to use the tweezers to remove it here. It has a peg that it hooks on right there. So you want to remove that. Then what we want to do is we want to pry up carefully under this connector right here as well. Release that and flip this over. So you want to slide under these tabs here carefully. This one already came loose kind of when I took it apart. But you also want to slide up under this one right here. And then this part here just lifts right off of there. So now to remove the QI charging pad, just start prying up under here. And it just has adhesive under it. It comes off. You just kind of got to work your way around. Then once you got it loose all the way, flip this over and it just has this little tab here. QI charging pad comes off just like that. Now for reassembly, what I found is it works best if you put this back in the frame first. We're just going to start with this connector right here. Get it right down in the peg where it belongs here. And then we're going to want to flip this over and make sure that this gold part sticks through this hole right here like it's supposed to. So we can go ahead and press that down. So it stays a little bit. And then we can grab the battery, set it right down in here. So we know we can only go in one spot. And we want to refasten this connector pretty much straight back so that way it contacts on the logic board here where it's supposed to. So now that we got that all done, next we'll grab this back part, set it right down on here, press down. You can snap it in place in a few places and go ahead and put all your screws in all the way around. So next what you'll want to do is grab this piece right here, set it right down in there, reconnect it to this connector down in there. Make sure it's seated down in there. Then we'll grab this. Now this might be a little tricky to show, but we need to reconnect this right here. Slide it into that white line. It's even right there. Then we can close that. Then we'll just want to stick that down. Then we're going to want to grab this cover, snap it down in place there. Lastly, we're going to want to reconnect the battery right here. Make sure it's pushed down in there. Good. Don't put anything metal in there, just plastic. We'll grab this plug here for it. Set it right down in there too. To reinstall the back cover. If it has plenty of adhesive on it, you're probably okay with just putting this back on. If you need to add extra adhesive, there's some double-sided adhesive like this. It's really thin, narrow stuff. I'll link to this in the description so you can find it, the description of the video. And you just want to grab your back cover, set it down on here, line everything up, and press down all the way around. Now, if you want to make sure that it stays on, you could also apply heat with a heat gun or something here, and then just press down and make sure that it's going to stay on there. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.